feeling always stayed with me or those thoughts. And I was afraid to put myself out there. I just felt like I did not deserve what I wanted in life. I feel like I'm looking at a star already, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't wanna cry. I just feel like that kid again. Like I'm not worthy of it. Then again, I was always fighting for it. I'm 40 now. I don't have time to be afraid anymore. I have to show the world what I want to be. I can now talk again, thank God. I feel like Hugh Jackman in The Greatest Showman when that girl sang the song at that moment. When we talk about people coming onto the live shows and taking it and having a moment, that is what that just was. Yeah. That was a moment. I mean, the fact you put all those key changes into it, I don't know, you can't go any higher. Then you went higher. That yeah. was classy, brilliant, fantastic. Yeah. Howie? You know, it's like I told Michaela at the beginning of the show, this is a tough year, you're competing. That was a moment, that was a crazy moment. You know, I look back, the audience is standing, I have a friend here, Paul Stanley from KISS, the lead singer. He just looked at me and he went, wow. Thank and you. I can't say it better than he just said it. That was a wow moment, that's what this is about. And I, thought, I think you brought it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mel B. You know what I love about you? You're a single parent mother. Is it one boy that you're looking after or two? Yeah, one. One, one How old boy. Is he? He's 12 years old. And you're doing it all by yourself. And you're taking back your power. And you're owning yourself. And you're showing the world you. And you killed it tonight. Thank you me. brought tears to my eyes. But can I just tell you, moving forward, mm -hmm. don't wear that jacket ever again. <laughs> don't. Okay, I was coming. <laughs> yes. All right, Glennis, good luck.